we've called this problem complex manometer not because it's too complex but because there's a bit more going on in this problem than the previous manometer problems that we've been looking at. So what we've got here is we've got a pipe with pressure PB and that's linked by two U-tubes to a chamber. The chamber has some level of liquid in it and some gas with pressure PA. And the problem here is we're asking if you know the pressure in this chamber PA and you know the height of these fluids, can we work out the pressure in this pipe PB? So we've got three fluids, one here with a specific gravity of 1.5, one here with a specific gravity of 0.8 and this is water with a specific gravity of 1. Okay, so to start with what we have to do is find a YouTube and balance the pressures between it. So we could go for either one, we can go for this one or this one, but I'm going to go for this one. So again, we want to find a point on this YouTube where we have the same fluid on both sides. So that is here. So if we draw a line there, on both sides of this line we have the fluid of a specific gravity of 0.8. So the two things we can say about this line is first of all we can ignore everything going on above it because as we go up here we're losing pressure but then we're going to regaining pressure because we're going down by the same amount on this side. So the difference in pressure between these two points above it is zero. And then what we can say is that the pressure pushing on this side of the line must be equal to the pressure pushing on this side of the line if none of the liquids in the system are moving. Okay, so just like a set of scales where if you have the same weight on both sides, the scales are stationary. If all of these fluids are stationary, then we know that whatever's pushing up here must be the same as whatever's pushing up here. So the golden rule that we're gonna to use to solve this problem is that pressure equals the density of fluid times gravity times the height of fluid. And what we're going to do is use that rule to balance the forces along this line. So first of all, what pressure do we have pushing on this side? Well first of all we have PB in the pipe, so we'll write PB. Then we have this height H3 here, but the important thing to realise when solving this problem is that we're actually going up here, so what that means is we're losing pressure. So if you imagine you're swimming from this pipe up to this point, as you move up then the pressure will go down on you because there's less fluid above you. So actually what we're going to do is instead of plusing we're going to minus uh, the density of this fluid, which we'll call density 1, times by, H, times by gravity times by H3. So that is the total pressure pushing on this side of the line and that's going to be equal to the total pressure pushing on this side of the line. So first of all we have PA, then we have an increase in pressure as we go down so that will be plus the density of this fluid that we'll call density 3 times gravity times by H1 and then again we're going up through this fluid so we're losing pressure here so we're minus that from the fluid we'll call density 2 times gravity times H2. Okay and what we want to do is rearrange this equation for PB. So PB equals everything on this side so PA plus density 3 times gravity times H1 minus density 2 times gravity times H2 and then we're going to move these terms over to the other side so plus density 1 times gravity times H3 and if we plug the numbers into this equation PA is 200,000 newtons per meter squared Density 3 
is going to be 1500 because the specific gravity is 1.5 so the density is 1.5 times the density of water times 9.81 times H1 which is 0.4 minus density 2 which is 800 times gravity times by H2 which is 0.2 meters and then plus density 1 which is the density of water times 9.81 times H3 which is 0.25 and if you plug all that into a calculator it should give a final answer for the pressure in the pipe PB of 2.05 297.4 newtons per meter squared. So the most important thing to remember about these types of problems where you're going both up and down is whenever you go up for a fluid you're losing pressure, whenever you go down for a fluid you're gaining pressure.